While the East seems to be a three horse race, we already talked about that. Uh, the West seems to be wide open, guys. The West is super fun. I mean, yeah. honestly, now if you're, you have one of those, those names on the front of your jersey that you're used to seeing in the finals, maybe not as fun. But mm -hmm. where we are, I think it's, it's so open, Teddy. I mean, a lot of teams can get there in the end. Wide open in the West, certainly. <laughs> and that starts with the number one seed, you know, Denver. A team that's not getting a lot of betting market respect and a team that many people have concerns about with their depth, with their bench. They've got a star in the center. They've got a great starting lineup. And Denver, certainly live to come out of the Western Conference. They're not the scariest team, however. Phoenix, probably the scariest team for me, at least. When you talk about Paul and Booker and Ayton and, oh, Kevin Durant, that's a scary team. I think they're the team to beat. Of course, you have the LeBrons in L.A., and they certainly played their best basketball down the stretch. Not a team that you want to take lightly. And, of course, let's not forget the defending champs in Golden State. I don't know if they're hungry or tough enough this year, but I'm certainly not going to sell them short. And then you have other top seeds. You have Memphis, Sacramento, two in the three seeds. They could be first-round underdogs <laughs> in their series. Yeah, when you say it's wide open, it is wide open in the West. A good opportunity to take a team that doesn't know that they're on this big stage, somebody that really overachieves, especially mm -hmm. when we're talking about making money and betting against the number. You get a team like Utah, their preseason win total 24 and a half. Oklahoma City, their preseason win total uh, 23 and a half. Both flew way over that, uh, over, over ex expected mm -hmm. what they were supposed to do. So a team like one of those t type of teams will make some, um, some noise in the playoffs and also they'll be able to cover some numbers because the general public still probably hasn't caught up with how good they actually are at this point of the season could uh, the betting market still be you know not showing as much respect or as much love for a certain team is there one of those teams out there that you guys are perhaps seeing well the betting markets are going to react to the season long stats but they're also going to react to the general opinions of the squads Denver's the number one seed mm -hmm. all right they're not the favorites to come out of the West all right, they're not, they, they stumbled down the stretch. They went six and 10 in their last 16 games. That team's loaded, don't sell them short. I mean, can you call them a long shot? Of course not, they're the one number one right, seed. Right. But they're live. Memphis is another team like that. I mean, I mm -hmm. think anytime you get a team that's done something, general public gamblers, they a lot of times cannot believe what's in front of them. So we get this time of year, we're used to seeing an L.A. team, we're used to seeing Golden State, but sometimes what you what you had for the last five, six months is actually what's going on, mm -hmm. and you'll get some value with some of the best teams in a conference, and I think, as he alluded to, Memphis is one of those teams, and, and you have a couple more opportunities.